Hey guys, Spartan here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make mods for Backpack Hero, uh, from scratch, pretty much. So, Backpack Hero modding, it's currently available in the beta branch, eventually it will be put to the main branch, well hopefully soon, but this is basically what you need to do in order to start making mods. Now first off, you don't actually have to do this but I recommend doing it is if you go to mods, it will say learn how to make mods and which gives a in-text description. This will take you to a page. It will take you to backpackhero.com slash mods and it'll tell you a guide about how to get started. I'm basically giving you that right now, but the most important thing is uh, you click on get started and as it says optional, there is a file here called Base Game Exports Mod Pack, which contains a whole bunch of items. This basically helps you with copy pasting, like from a bunch of status effects that base game weapons have. It gives you a file that has just a lot of things in it. It gives you this, which contains plenty of stuff for you to open up and learn how items work. But yeah. Also, you're going to need to download something to edit these types of files, these .jsons. I recommend Notepad++ because it's pretty simple to use, it's just writing stuff. And uh, yeah, it's free, so you don't need to do anything, just Google that and you'll be able to find it very easily. But, so now that you know you have those, uh, we'll start making a mod, shall we? So, what you want to do is go to the wherever you have Backpack Hero installed on your computer. I have it open somewhere, yeah. So it's probably in whatever drive is, you know, like your main computer drive. So you go Steam, Steam Apps Common, Backpack Hero, and there'll be a folder called Mods in it. If you're playing on the beta, it will probably be in the normal place there. But so there will originally be no folders here. So you need to create whatever you want your mod pack to be. So let's just call this Spartans Test Mod Pack. It doesn't have to be specifically mod pack or anything like that. And you open it up and there's nothing there. So I've done this before, but what you basically want is to have items and modpack.json. Now modpack.json is uh, very simple. All you need is a name, a description, and an author. And the, the testing thing can just give you this easily, so... Let's just copy this for a minute, because it's a lot easier than typing it out manually. So, you want to go new, and you can just do, like, text document, and just change this to .json. So we call this... modpack.json. It's going to say, oh, it might become unusable, but we don't care. And we're going to open that. going to paste that there. And we're going to change it to be called Spartan's Test Mod Pack. And we'll change the description to this is a description. And the author is me, so I uh, don't need to save that. So... We're going to save this and then we're going to close it because we don't need to do anything for that right now. Uh, Notepad++ will stay up with whatever items you were testing before, so it's it's good if you want to reference. So, as we can see by my normal thing, we need to make an items folder. So, create new folder and we just name it items. And here is where we create our item. So, you want to create a new text folder. There's probably an easy way to do this, but name this whatever item you want it to be. Let's let's name this sneaky I'll put a cap here. Sneaky sword dot Jason. And let's open that up. Uh, by default I have it set to always open dot Jason's with notepad plus plus. That's just a thing you can do in Windows, I recommend doing. But yeah. So there's nothing here. So let's go to the other folder, the items folder here, and let's take the easy way of grabbing a sword here. Let's grab the absolute minimum sword here, the 
Let's grab the, the wooden sword, for instance. And we open up wooden sword.item.json. That's just specifying that it is an item. Like, you don't need everything to be .item.json. Like, that is completely unnecessary. But yeah. So, let's control C this. And let's paste this here, because this will be our base work. So. Oh, sorry, uh, I, I can barely type with my uh, microphone in the way. So let's change that to sneaky sword, and the sprite will be sneaky sword. Dot PNG. Uh, we'll get to that later on, but that's basically the name of the item or the icon you use. So here's where you decide the shape. Uh, this indicates that it is a one height and uh, no, one, th one width, three height. And you can put axes to determine which is which. Make sure you have a comma between each one and each row. Uh, if it's only one row, like if you want to do a, a five width item, you just delete these and it'll be fine. If you want to put a space in your items, you need to put an A. So if I put XAX, which means that this will be, you know, a space, then a blank space, then a space, and then the next row has two spaces, for instance. So right now, we'll just leave this as a size three item. That'll be basic. Let's make this an uncommon item. So uncommon. Uh, you can support this as, I, I think, pretty sure you can put relic as a rarity, but uh, currently we don't really have that great relic support anyway. So we put this as an uncommon, we'll make it, yeah, we'll make it a melee weapon as well, because that's the easiest. If you wanted to take something else, like we can open Toxic Kunai, for instance, that is, that's just a weapon, it's not a melee, but it's a, you know. Experiment with some of the things in the uh, items folder, and you'll have more fun, and you'll be able to test out more things. Supported characters, you can use this to add or remove characters for which you want it to use. Let's say, for instance, I want to remove everyone from the item pool except purse. I delete that, and then I delete this comma because it is useless and it will cause confusion if I leave it in. Uh, you only need to add a comma if there's more than one thing in between these squared brackets. But you need to put one afterwards if there's something afterwards. Okay? So... Let's make it a let's make it a two cost energy, shall we? And we have an on use deal damage seven. So we can change this. We'll make this nine. And let's say we want to add it twice, for instance. Sorry, I'm, I keep getting interrupted. So yes, we just copy this. We add a comma because we're adding another line. We add a space. And then we will paste that, because we're going to make this do 9 damage 3 times. So, we want another effect, we'll add a comma. And let's take, let's add some block as well. You know, let's make it a, a not very balanced effect. So, for instance, let's take an item from a shield. This is an effect to give block, so give that. Since it's an on use, add 2 block to player. Then we'll just add another comma here, a space, and do that. And we'll make it give some ridiculous number, 13 block. That'll do. You know what, I've got to make it somewhat balanced. Let's make it a 3 energy weapon. And let's give it uh, 5 forge slots. So currently we have a weapon that is a 3 size, uncommon melee weapon, that only appears with purse, has an energy cost of 3, and does 9 damage and gives 13 block on use. So that's a pretty decent weapon. And it can be forged 5 times. So that's good for now. Let's keep that as it is. So now we have sneaky sword.json in our folders. Let's go back to where we keep our things, mods, test mod pack, items, and here it is. So Let's go back to Backpack Hero and let's press this button, which will update what we are working on. 
So now we have Spartan's test mod pack. So we're going to hit this button to enable it. And then we are going to, oh yeah, make sure that you click debugging because that's how you easily test these. And we're going to start a game with purse just normally. Now, what you want to do here is hit Control D on your keyboard and you're going to go to spawn item. Then you're going to choose what you named your mod pack, spawns test mod pack for instance, and you're going to spawn in your weapon. So this is the weapon we just made, the sneaky sword. Uh, for some reason the icon will be switched to horizontally, that just usually happens. But here we see that yes, it deals 9 damage 3 times and adds 13 block. It currently doesn't have an icon, but that is fine. So, the next thing you'll want to do, well obviously you can just exit out because we know that the item actually works and does what it says it does. Source, trust me. We're going to get on to pixel art. So, you're going to need an icon for this. You just need to name it sneakysword.png, but... We're going to need a video or image editing program for that. You can use GIMP or Photoshop or whatever it is. So let's take an item from the base game to work with as a base. Something that is preferably the size you want, but you can mess with it whatever you want because you can overflow a bit. There is no downside to having an overflowing thing aside from the weapon kind of looking like, you know, a little ugly. For instance, Flaming Claws is an absolutely huge item that takes up one space. It's 30 by 28 pixels, as you can see here. And yeah, it, it doesn't look very good. But yeah, most items only use upwards of 17 pixels in length for one tile. So let's take the uh, Dueling Sword. I'm going to use Photoshop, so this is how we do it. I'm going to fit on screen and use the pencil tool. Uh, don't need to change things too much, but let's just do some minor changes to this item. So let's give it a couple of black stripes down the middle to indicate it being sneaky, and let's give it a... let's give it a, a shiny gold jewel in the middle. This doesn't particularly look very sneaky, but it will do. Like, if you're better at pixel art than I am, which you probably are, this is significantly easier. So we'll go save as. We're going to navigate over to wherever our items are. This is a mod pack I'm working on. So we'll go to Spartan's test mod pack items, and then we're going to name this Sneaky Sword. Dot .png So save, save it as smallest size and that will be it. Right, so we go back to Backpack Hero, we go to Mods, we refresh go just to check that Spartan's test mod pack is still enabled go back to back to Adventuring we spawn that item in again and here we have the Sneaky Sword. Yep, it certainly works. And then you probably just want to go into an encounter to test that it works all well and good. So let's go into an encounter real quick to test that it actually does what it says, even though most items are very clear at what they do. So use this. That does 9 damage 3 times and gave 13 block, so it is exactly what we set it to be. So, this item works absolutely fine, maybe a bit overpowered, but that's irrelevant. Next up, what you want to do is you want to add a icon, because currently if you go to your mod, it has this question mark, which is basically a placeholder. So what you want to do is you create a 32 by 32 pixel image. Let's create a new layer so I can make this transparent. And let's draw something. Anything will do. Let's just put a, uh, a blue smiley face. Yeah, I'm... I I'm not the most creative type of, type of person, so... Uh, apologies if you expected highbrow pixel art. 
but yeah. And we go file, save as, we go to the test mod pack and we name this icon.png. So now that's done, we go back to backpack hero and we refresh. And there we go, that is the icon for our mod pack. And now we're just about ready to finish up. So what you want to do now is, if you're absolutely sure you want to publish this to everyone, because you can still use this just for yourself if you want. This is only if you actually want to publish this publicly. You hold Alt, you click Publish to Workshop, and you hit uh, Yes. So by submitting the pub you agree to the workshop terms of service. And then you will click things to add tags to your items. So you say, yep, yeah, this is an item, this is a melee weapon, and it is for purse only. And you put these release notes, blah, 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 blah. And you publish mod pack and this will appear in the Steam workshop. It'll be under the most recently created mod. Uh, however, this next part is mostly just things that you prefer to do on on Steam itself. So let's go uh, last updated because I updated my mod a while ago. And you can edit title, description, add images. It's easier to do it here than it is to do it through Backpack Hero directly. So just get some images of your weapons and whatnot and items. Edit the descriptions, do what you feel like, etc, etc. Check the stats. And yeah, you're about done with making your Backpack Hero mod. I'm not going to actually publish this because this is a, a terrible mod. And it looks ugly as hell. But that's just because I did this in, like, one sitting. And didn't put much thought into it, honestly. But yeah, the key to making good items is experimenting, of course. And if you're having troubles, then it's probably just because you're missing a comma somewhere. So, yeah, look through the basic imports and just have fun basically uh, imagination is your biggest asset but yeah i hope you learnt how to code properly from this tutorial even though i'm not that great at coding myself honestly uh i hope you learned something and yeah i'd like to see people add things to the community if you've got a mod that you think is fun then i don't know tag me in the description or something like that and i'll check it out maybe because i like covering mods so yeah I'll see you guys in whatever it is I do next. Till then, goodbye.